Here we are. Hey there, how's it going, Chapter B? Uh, yeah, I see those big snowballs. You need to slide on the ice with enough momentum to crush them. Fire types or uh, fighting types? We'll see. Anyway, so where do we want to go? There's three in a row. Can I bash into three in a row? Oh, four in a row. Fair enough. Talk to me. We spend all our time battling in the blizzards of Snowpoint City. Alright, let's see how tough you are. Hopefully not too tough, because I kind of want to do a little bit of last minute training before we take on uh, Candice. Ooh, yikes. Level 44, okay. <laughs> right. Hmm. I wasn't expecting it to be that high level. Then again, Lucario easily kicked Glalie's butt, so maybe I don't have to be that worried. But considering your only Pokemon was level 44... Hmm... I might have slightly underestimated it, but you know what? This is, it's not the first time I've slightly underestimated, um... Like, the Pokemon of a gym, so... If I just believe that, uh, I might be okay. Savannah. Not really an appropriate name for an ice-type gym. Uh, I would have thought you'd prefer like a warmer climate, given your name, but oh well, whatever. Right, uh, Snow Rock, level 39, that's a bit more... Oh god, here we go, here comes Protect. Because of course you use Protect. But of course you can't use it all the time because it will fail. Well, there's a chance of uh, failing if you use it consecutively. Plus, you're only delaying the inevitable. Sorry about that brief pause there, I just want to take a drink there. Uh, Snowrunt, uh, we'll keep battling. Might as well trade up Lucario a little bit, even though obviously I'm also training up effectively Glaceon right now, as well with the experience share. Probably shouldn't really do that, but you know what? I think as long as we got the moves, I think we might be okay. So just rely on the likes of Rapidash and Lucario, and if anything happens to both of them, I'll just use my other Pokemon in my party, just to um, give me a bit, bit uh, time to do some recovering. Lacey wants to learn Quick Attack? Yeah, might as well. Let's see what I can make you forget. Yeah, you know what, you can forget Growl. I don't think we're going to need Growl. I would like you to learn some ice type moves, but hopefully I'll come sooner rather than later. Oh, another Glalie. We'll keep battling. Uh, this one's level 42, but we managed to defeat a. Oh, here we go. Protect again. Uh, we did manage to defeat a level 44 Glalie with no trouble at all. So, there should only be one outcome against a level 42 Glalie. Yep, sure enough. Super effective. <laughs> At least I have my war boots. Well, I guess that's something. Anyway, uh, so let's just have a wander around here. Well, I'm stuck in the pit there, so let's get out of here. Ah, uh, so awkward to get around here. Although, momentum! Oh. <laughs> that was not uh, how I expected it. Ah, oh. I can't move five out of the way. Alright, we'll go here then. I'll go this way then. How do you like that game? I'll go this way instead. And I'll talk to you while I'm here. It's too cold. I can't feel my tongue. Well then, don't open your mouth then if it's that cold. That way you'll keep your tongue warm, uh, Sergio. Anyway, we've got Snowva now, level 41. I suppose if things look bad, I, I suppose I could always use some rare candies, because I must have a few of them, but I think we'll be okay. Even with a level disadvantage, I think we will have the upper hand with our Pokemon types here. 
And as I said, I can always switch Pokemon around in case I need to do any emergency healing. Right, what's your next Pokemon? It's a Sneasel. We'll keep battling because this will be very easy for Lucario. Level 42. That should be no problem. Yeah, that's not going to do a huge amount of damage, uh, Sneasel. Or a Spear, on the other hand. Oh god, not only was it super effective, but it was also a critical hit. Yeah, that was not a good time for you there, uh, Sneasel. And we got some money for it. Right, I tell you what, before we uh, challenge any more people, I'm just going to quickly uh, heal my Pokemon and uh, get back up to full strength. Alright, Pokemon healed. Let's go this way again. Got one more person to battle against. Actually, two more people to battle against. But, you know what? Let's talk to you. I've only been involved in Pokemon for a short time. I managed to get this far because skilled friends toughened me up. Alright, let's just see how tough you are. Brenner. Ooh, Sneasel. Oh, this will be very easy work for Lucario. Hmm, actually, thinking about it, we're seeing a lot of Sneasel around. Wouldn't surprise me if the gym leader potentially had its evolved form. Should be no problem for Lucario, but we'll see. Just trying to think what other ice type Pokemon we could have. Also, rather surprisingly, I've not seen any like dual like ice and wolf type Pokemon. Because I think there are a few of them. Because you've got the likes of Lapras. Um Dugong is as one as well, and obviously, um, I think, like, Sveal, uh, Celio, and Walrein, although I don't think they appear in the Sinnoh Pokedex, do they? Um, uh, how do you think about it? There's not really that many. Huh. Well, whatever. If anything, uh, Luke's Ray, you'll, as I said, you'll probably just be one of those Pokemon that I might need to bring out just to, uh, have a little bit of a recovery time to uh, recover my Pokemon. Okay, next up, Snowrunt. Are you going to try and use Protect and stop me from launching Aurasphere? No, you're not, actually. You've decided that you've accepted your fate already. That's very sensible. <laughs> very sensible, that. There we go. Brenner defeated. I think there's only one more person to battle against. It's this person here. I can't see an immediately obvious way to get to you. Anyway, let's uh, go back here and just think about the path we want to take. Let's smash through all the snow here. Ah, now we can battle you. Hello. I'm not feeling run down, I'm just like sliding a lot, uh, slide, sliding around on this ice. So next up we got uh, Alicia with uh, another, uh, so another person with a Sneasel, alright fair enough. Yeah Slash is not going to do much considering I'm part Steel type, sorry to uh, say that Sneasel. But it's the truth. Oh yeah, super effective. <coughs> no worries there. Apart from me maybe sli slightly dying from a cough. But we'll be fine. Anyway, another Sneasel. Alright, that's fine. Oh. You only had two Pokemon. Well, that's fine. Level 43. Again, that's fine. Ooh, critical hit though. And I think, unless I'm not just... Mistaken. I think this is the last person I had to battle against, obviously apart from uh, Candice. 
So I think once again I'll quickly head back to the gym and then try and figure out how to get to the gym leader. You know, of all these like snow, like these massive snowballs, the snow boulders I'll probably call them. Yeah, love the momentum. Anyway, I'll once again do some quick healing and then we'll take on the gym leader. Right, I'm back at the gym with our Pokemon fully healed once again, and just before we take on the gym leader, uh, I might as well point out that I've actually now given uh, uh, some of my Pokemon some items to hold. So Lucario now has the Black Belt, which I think we got from... Oh, where did we get that Black Belt from? Was it from that person on that Dead End route uh, south of uh, Sanjum Town? I think it was. I can't remember, but uh, yeah, we're giving uh, Lucario the Black Belt. And seeing as I noticed that none of my people were holding the Amulet Coin, I just decided to give it to Rapidash because no doubt I'll definitely be using Rapidash in this battle. And hey, I have an Amulet Coin, might as well get double prize money because why not? Anyway, so now I need to figure out where to go. But I think uh, with me destroying those uh, snow boulders before. Like that will probably help, so yeah, we need to make a clear path up to you. So let's see what we have. Oh, we can go down here. Whoops, sorry, uh, I've kind of uh, made a mess of that pattern there. So yeah, we need to destroy all of those boulders. We can do that one, no problem. We need to then go to here, I think. Seeing we've got a convenient stop place there. Same with that. Ooh, I just realised where else we need to go. I see a spot there we need to go to. Just to destroy that particular one, hopefully. Yep, I can go around here, down here, destroy that one. Oh, I do need to actually destroy all of them up there. That's fine. That should be no problem. Oh, I needed to go up there. Whoops, daisies. I need to go this way. There we go. Then we need to destroy all of them. Yeah, there we go. So let's go back here. Back to the beginning because I should just be able to go in a straight line down here. Yeah, there we go. I probably could have done that a bit quicker, but whatever. Anyway, so I think Lucario go first. Yeah, okay. We'll give you a chance, Lucario. Right, let's take on the gym leader. You want to challenge Candice? Sure thing. I was waiting for someone tough. Well, I should tell you, I'm tough because I know how to focus. Pokemon, fashion, romance. It's all about focus. <laughs> Whoa, get ready to lose. Oh, okay. Someone's confident. All right, Candice, let's see uh, what kind of Pokemon you have. Although, admittedly, E. Wow, okay, four Pokemon. Right. But your first Pokemon's a Sneasel. That's no problem for Lucario. And it's only level 40 as well. So, I'm not too worried right now. Ooh, we do know Aerolace. Which is a slight concern, but because I'm part Steel type, Aerial Ace is only going to do normal damage, so I'm still going to be okay. Also, I did forget to change the battle settings. Because with the gym battle, I normally like to change the battle settings from set rather than shift, so. So uh, I'll just won't switch. Uh, let's uh, keep battling. And um, what was that? I think I said. Oh, a pile of swine. Alright, well, again, that's not going to be too much problem for the Lucario. Oh, again, level 40. Although, I just thought you might know Earthquake. Ooh, I hope you're quick, Lucario. But aren't you part ground type, pile of swine? If so, you might know Earthquake to uh, counter against my steel type. Well, if you did know that. You weren't able to demonstrate that, pile of swine. <laughs> right, ignoring, ignoring, ignoring. Ooh, a bomb of snow. All right. Might be worth switching to Rapidash. You know what? I'm actually going to switch to Rapidash. Yeah, I'll switch to Rapidash. Give Lucario a little bit of a break. 
Ooh, focus blast. Okay, I wasn't expecting focus blast, but that's fine. I'm a little worried it did quite a bit of damage, though. I hope I'm quicker than a bomber snow. Question is, do I risk using flame, uh, flame, uh, fire blast, or should I just stick with flame wheel? I'll stick with flame wheel. Okay, good. I am faster than a bomber snow. Let's just stick with flame wheel. At least I'll know it hits. It should still do a decent amount of damage. Ooh, I was gonna say, you lucky git. Wow, you know water pulse. So I guess that's your way of countering uh, the fire types. Although, again, my rapidash actually managed to survive that. Unfortunately, it won't survive the hail, but for a bomber snow. Yep, you weren't going to survive that burn, so, um, yeah, double knockout. Huh, how about that? And Glaceon gets the experience points, although Lucario got some experience points because I obviously switched after uh, you brought your Pokemon out. So. Hmm. Let's bring out. I'll tell you what, let's bring out Luxray. I'm actually going to do a quick bit of healing. Let's see what kind of Pokemon you have. Frostlass, okay. So Frostlass is your final Pokemon. Intimidate takes effect. I don't know if it will have any uh, use for it, but that's fine. Um, do I want to do a quick bit of healing, or should I take the risk? I don't know, actually. i tell you what. Actually, what? type are you, Frostlass? I know, obviously, you're Ice type. I can't remember what... If you have a secondary type, I cannot remember. I genuinely can't remember, so I'll tell you what. Let me actually do a quick bit of healing, and I'm going to revive... Let's revive Rapidash. And we'll go from there. Double team. That's okay because uh, I could just use Lucario's Aura Sphere. Because Aura Sphere will never miss. So, actually, thinking about it, it might not have been uh, the best idea to. Uh... No, I suppose it would have been all right to uh, heal, uh, to revive Rapidash anyway, just in case. And even though I know you're not that damaged, or that damaged or not that badly hurt, I'm gonna fully heal you anyway. Ooh, and Blizzard. All right, well, that's fine. Sorry for um, making you go through this, looks right. But I'm not going to switch out my Pokemon just yet. I might effectively sacrifice you, but what I am going to do, I'm just going to see... No, I was going to say, I can see if I can get an attack it, but the Frostlass is stronger. Or faster, rather. Oh, they're only level 44. So that's, like, as high a level... That like the same level as that person's uh, Glalie we battled against earlier on in the gym. I think it might be alright. Anyway, so let's see. Okay, Lucario. Aura Sphere! Hmm, Psychic. Alright. So maybe you are part Psychic, but... Damn it! Oh! Are you part... Wait, are you part... Oh, you jerk! Are you part, like, um... You must be part ghost type then. Well, damn it, I was not expecting that. Alright, well, I guess Rapidash uh, I'm gonna have to rely on. Fortunately, Double Team is not gonna uh, help me at all. Right, okay, at least I now know what type you are, sir. So, oh, hang on a minute. So, s fighting type moves uh, do not affect. Hang on a minute. Yeah, they don't affect ghost type moves, I don't think. Oh, so he must be part of ghost type. Ah, looks right. Crunch type would have been alright, actually. Okay, that's definitely confirmed it. Okay, so you are part of ghost type. Alright. Ooh, I could. Oh, I was going to say I'd get away with using um, Torterra, but no, probably not. <laughs> Even though it is higher level than Frostlass, I'm willing to bet you're faster, so I don't think it's going to last. Although, you've already used Blizzard twice. So I'll tell you what, seeing as this is completely um, not going to be good for Lucario, I'm just going to chill out here. I'm going to just revive Luxray. I'm going to heal you up. 
even though you're using double team a lot, which is kind of a worry. But all we need is one good hit, and we're good. So, sorry Lucario, I'm kind of just keeping you out here just so I could do some healing. So, let me just heal up Lux right here. And just hope that we can uh, get an attack on, even though you are using double team, like an absolute jerk right now. Do any more other Pokemon know those moves? What do you know, Golduck? Hmm. I suppose I could use Disable, but probably not worth it. Tell you what, Golduck, just for the hell of it, I'm just going to temporarily bring you out because you're probably just going to end up uh, becoming like my sacrifice. Meanwhile, you're continuing to use Double Team, which is really infuriating. Ah, uh, yeah. I was, of all the Pokemon types I was um, wanting to go up against, Ghost type was definitely not the one I wanted to go against. And unfortunately, because of all this double team, this is not gonna go well. Gold duck. But even if even if I can get one hit in with a with a water pulse, if I'm lucky, I can. Uh, make it confused. Okay, that's good. We've got the water pulse in. That's good. That's good. Nice. Alright, that's actually not bad damage. Good job there, Golduck. Obviously, you're not going to survive the Shadow Ball, but that's fine. That's still a decent amount of damage. But now we need to worry about actually la landing some attacks on you. Let's now bring out Rapidash. <laughs> I could I could make a very risky move and try Fire Blast. Like it's not accurate in itself to begin with, but with all that double team, it's gonna be less accurate. Let's try it! Let's try it anyway! <laughs> I mean what's the worst that can happen apart from Rapidash getting knocked out? Although actually, that Shadow Ball did not do a massive amount of damage. All we need is RNG to be on my side. And we've got this gym battle nailed. Come on, RNG. Be kind to me. You're probably not, though, are you? Oh, yes, it is. Fire Blast. Oh, despite all that double team, I still managed to land a Fire Blast. Come on, knock it out. Oh, yes. Get in there, Rapidash. Okay, uh, I kind of wish I remembered what Frostlass, the Frostlass's type was to begin with. Instead of embarrassing myself with uh, my attempt to uh, use Lucario, but hey, there we go. Well, <laughs> I got there in the end. Uh. Anyway, we got the Icicle badge. <laughs> oh, man. As much as I love Pokemon, there's always a bunch of Pokemon that I can never remember what their types are. I knew Frostlass had a secondary type, and annoyingly, it had to be part ghost type. Of all the types, it had to be part ghost type. But whatever, it doesn't matter, the gym battle's done. And we got ourselves TM72, which is, ooh, Avalanche. If the user takes damage, the move's power is doubled. Hmm, okay, interesting. Anyway, so we've got our seventh gym budge. You were more focused than her. No, I think RNG was uh, definitely on my side for once. <laughs> oh, man. That fire blast, though. Whew. I got lucky there, but sometimes you just need a little bit of luck to win the battle. So think about it, it was kind of unnecessary to revive uh, Luxray and all that, but you know what? You just never know what might happen, so I'm kind of glad that I had uh, some backup plans. Anyway, so now that we've taken care of uh, that gym battle, 
let's switch around some Pokemon because we need to. Uh, well, we need to. Oh, you're in box two, aren't you? Yeah, there you are. We need to bring a B barrel with me. Now, now that we can use Rock Climb. And for now. Just gonna temporarily say goodbye to Rapidash because I'm not gonna need uh, Rapidash like too often right now. I kind of want to bring back Gabite, but for now we'll leave it. And speaking of moving around, uh, let's. I kind of want to train Golduck a little bit. No, I don't want to surf. I want to switch. Yeah, we'll carry on training Glaceon because, I don't know, having a pure Ice-type Pokemon could be useful in some way. Anyway, now that we've got the Gym Badge, we can now start using Rock Climb all over the place. So, let's head back to Lake Acuity and see how Kyle's getting on. Well, that's it for this video, but I've got some more Pokemon Platinum coming up very soon. So, for now, thanks very much for watching, everyone. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and until next time, I shall catch you all later.